So instead of talking about my therapy in a vlog, I kind of want to talk about it in a video. It's just sometimes easier for me to talk about my trauma and what I went through in a video instead of writing it all down. Um, so I want to talk about my EMTR therapy and my sessions um, with EMDR and starting it back up. There's so much feelings going into this because I've done it in the past and I have saw that it's helped tremendously at the end with a lot of triggers and I was able to work on a few of them but I didn't get through all of the triggers of my attack and my other traumas. So uh, there was a guy at the bar. I was just standing next to the pool table watching my friends play pool. He came up, grabbed me by the waist, and moved me so that he can shoot his pool stick and shoot the ball in. And just that happening triggered me back to my attack from John. Uh, John grabbed me by the waist. He looked me in the eyes and he said, do you remember me? So just someone grabbing me by the waist on that side, it was extremely triggering and a man and a woman should never touch another person without their permission. That's just what I have to say on that matter. But I want to get back into EMDR and why I decided to go back. Um, so since I got upset and afterwards I ended up having bad dreams about John again. And so it kind of showed that I was not fully healed from what I went through. And it's only been two and a half, almost three years since my attack. And I've come such a long way, but I'm not fully there. And that's okay. I'm still living my day-to-day -day life basically like a normal person. I just have some triggers here and there that I need to be careful with in going to places like bars um, are sometimes not the wisest choice during transition of therapy and um, just it makes people triggered if people touch me so that's just not a place that I should be at it was just a friend's birthday and I don't normally choose to go to places like that I try to have my space if I'm at a place a bar I try to go to a less crowded place or just to have um, a table or something and just to not have people back to back against me because it does trigger me when I am touched by someone and it's unwanted it brings me back to my attack um, but okay so going back to EMDR therapy I just switched from talk therapy, which is psychotherapy, and um, talking about my feelings and using different tools like cognitive tools to heal from my trauma, but at some point when you're triggered, it stops working, so I need to go back to EMDR and hopefully it will heal my triggers and my trauma. Um, so I just started last week, I met with a therapist, a new therapist, and I have been really nervous about going back to a new therapist because it's like you have to start all over. And I just want to kind of jump forward and fast forward to getting better. And I just have to remind myself that things take time and patience and it was really nice getting to know this therapist because she told me okay next session let's just jump right into EMDR instead of getting to know me more and getting to know um, everything that I've been through she kind of just asked me a synopsis of what I went through my triggers what bothers me why I'm here and um, 
I found out that I just feel like I'm not in control in the things around me that are happening. Um, the stuff with getting attacked. Um, I have triggers from the hospital. Triggers from dog barking. Um, someone touching me. And a few more that I need to just work on. And all of those triggers, what they had in common was... I'm not in control in those situations. So we're going to EMDR. We began my first session yesterday with EMDR. And the session before was just a getting to know you and an intake session. So fast forward to yesterday. I started with the buzzers. Put the buzzers both in hands. And then they just kind of go back and forth with making that little buzz. And it can be relaxing, but at first, when I started EMDR a couple years ago, I had to turn down the buzzers down low because I found that triggering. But this time, the buzzers were on normal speed, and I could handle that. So, did the buzzers, and all about this session was basically creating my safe space and really visualizing it, and um, my safe spot is this pond in Montana that my dad and I would go fly fishing at, and so I really found it peaceful. It was one of my favorite spots. So that's my safe spot. Then I bring in a protection figure and a nurturing figure. And I kind of just visualize it each time. And I brought in Cash, my dog. Because to me, he is nurturing and he's always loving and unconditional love. So I brought him in as my nurturing figure. For my protection, I gotta be honest, I only feel protection from myself right now. I don't feel like a figure in my life can protect me. I don't feel like the police can protect me. I feel like that's in my hands and I can fight back and defend myself and I've proven that to myself. So, I'm my own protection figure in this. And sometimes that's okay. You just have to visualize how strong you are and realize that you can protect anything that comes your way. You know, it's good. And then another thing she had me do was bring in a wise figure. And I love my parents, but... You know, my mom dated John, and that was hard. And so, unfortunately, I have a lack of trust with her trust in character. So, uh, I don't see her as merely a wise figure. She is learned from her mistakes and has more knowledge in that subject now, but... She's not my wise figure for my therapy. Um, and then I love my dad, but I guess he is wise. But there's just been so much conflict between my parents and the divorce and stuff. And I love my parents so much, but I just don't have the same views as them as certain th for certain things. So... I don't have them as my wise figures. Nothing that I think they're done, just they're not the wisest people in my mind. And I want someone like a wise figure like Buddha or Jesus, which is, I chose Jesus because I thought that he's a very wise person or Holy Spirit, Spirit whatever you may say, but I believe that 
having kindness and loving others no matter what they do to you i feel like that is very wise to do because the world's just so much better without hate so he's my wise figure he's basically the all-knowing and um, so that was my wise figure and then i went through it each time and just visualize cash there as my nurturing figure myself as my protection figure um and then jesus as my wise figure and then just kept visualizing the pond visualizing everything about it what makes it calm the little grass reeds around the center around the pond <laughs> And then just the grass, the green grass with like some of the dead grass and just how peaceful it was having the dragonflies buzz around and then watching the rainbow trout just pop out of the water. So it just gave me a sense of peace and that's how we kind of ended my therapy session. Um, and then on this note, beforehand, since I had so much anxiety going into it, I wasn't paying too much attention when I was parking in a tight spot before my session. So I scraped my mirror. So I was very frantic coming into the session. And my therapist really helped me to calm down, find my safe spot, and really visualize it. So... I had a good EMDR session for my first session establishing my safe spot and I am excited to see what happens in my next therapy session and I hope that it goes well because I'm very hopeful for healing and that I'll get better and that this will work. I've heard great things about it and I have experienced a lot of healing from it previously. So uh, let's see where it goes and I'm excited for session two, but anxious still. <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoyed that and just get to know my therapy a little bit and thanks for being supportive.